Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video um, and share a crochet subscription box with you guys. Um, I love subscription boxes. I've been getting different ones for years. I always say I'm going to stop getting them and then I end up getting more. <laughs> so um, I was looking at crocheting subscription boxes and um, I found one that I think is the most in line with kind of like my style and uh, my abilities. So I decided to go ahead. Sorry if I keep um, swallowing. I just woke up, so my throat's a little bit dry right now. Um, and I wanted to get this video done quick because I have a ton of stuff to do today. Um, but anyways, so um, I decided to get the Crochet Society uh, subscription box which looks like this. Um, when I signed up, they had a deal going. I don't know if it's still going, but um, if you signed up, you got the previous, the previous, the previous month's box for free. So this is a bi-monthly box, so it only comes out every two months. Um, and I believe I signed up for like a six month subscription. So I'll get three boxes just so I can give it a good, like a fair shot and see how, how much I like it. So this was the, the, the last box that came out. This is my free one. So I will show you guys what's inside here. Super cute packaging. Um, and it does seem like most of the packaging is like in line with the theme or the style of the that month's box so I'm expecting some similar colors maybe some I don't know maybe like 80s 70s 80s vibe type patterns in it um so let's get into it here it's a velcro together <laughs> Okay, um, first thing on top is some polyfill, a big chunk of polyfill, so I'm assuming that there is some amigurumi uh, action happening in here. Let's see, uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a little box. Like, I don't know, throw your needles and stitch markers and whatnot in. That's cute. I love the color of it. I could find a use for that. And then, um, there is a really cute is this a pen or a pencil a pen with like a pompon on top and yellow is my favorite color so that's cute i like that and then there's a little stitch marker in here i think every box comes with a stitch marker that's kind of like within the theme of the box so there's the stitch marker And then, let's see, we've got some thread, some embroidery thread, and a little envelope or something here. Uh, oh, there's safety eyes in there, so yeah, there's definitely an amigurumi type thing going on here. Um, there is a needle crochet needle this is four millimeter that's really cute too so far I love the just the color uh, story of this box so nice four millimeter hook there uh, there's a zipper so maybe a bag project possibly 
and then more embroidery thread. And now onto the yarn. There is one skein of this, this is called Charmed Decay. And this is in the color. I don't know what the color is. The print is literally too small. My eyes want to say it's Topanga. Uh, just a nice kind of off-white cream color. And this is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. So there's that. And then there is... Are these both the same color or are they two different colors of purple? Oh, they are two different colors. So there's two purples in here. Um, this one is... Man, my eyes are really bad today. I want to say it says Angelica. So there's Angelica. Um, Blossom. Nice bright lime green, yellowy green. I'm loving these colors right now. Um, and this one... I, I, I can't, I want to say it says Clarissa. That's the name of that color is Clarissa. And then there is a brown. This one, I can't read it all. A nice kind of like milk chocolatey brown color. And there's a black. So those are all of the yarns that came with it. And then um, there is a book here, the Pocket Book of Adorable Animals. It says 52 mix and match pieces to make. Which, oh, that's a cute little unicorn right there. And a little red panda. I almost called that a fox. I don't know why. And then I looked at the tail and I was like, mm, is that a fox? <laughs> um, so that came with it. That's cute. That will come in handy because I want to start making some toys for my grandkids. And then, what is this? Off the hook. Oh, it's like a little notepad to keep notes on each of your projects. That's kind of cool. You can list, you know, what the, the project is that you're working on, the yarns that you're using, the different colors, your hooks, uh, just any notes you have on the patterns. That's cute, there's like a whole pad of them in there. Nice, I like that. And then, last but not least, this is the book that comes with the box that tells you the patterns uh, that are associated with all the yarn and stuff that they give you. So this was the March 2024 box. And let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, this must be what the zipper was for. It's a chillax pouch. That looks like maybe some sort of mosaic, maybe. That's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, it kind of walks you through everything that's in the box. And then, oh, this this is the Amagurumi 
what the polyfill and everything is for. They have a Care Bear pattern in here. And this is for Share Bear. I don't know, are Care Bears like super popular again? Because I noticed um, the last month's issue of, was it Simply Crochet or Crochet Now? One of them um, that was on the stand in Joann's, it had a bunch of Care Bear stuff on there. And then I was watching some, you know, just scrolling through YouTube videos and I saw a handful of younger um, crocheters making Care Bear stuff. So are Care Bears like back? Are they in again? I mean, if they are, that's awesome. I loved Care Bears when I was growing up. I'm an 80s kid, so if they are, that's great. So there's that. Uh, tea and chat with Natasha Emerson. It's a little like interview. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then she she's the designer of this bag here. Cute granny square project. Okay, so the yarns that they throw in these boxes are exclusive to the box, but they do give you um, suggestions for other yarns to use if you want to try projects with different colors or if you just really like the yarn and you want something similar for other projects. Um, they give you some suggestions here, which that's nice of them to do. Uh, we love the 90s motifs. I'm thinking Natasha Emerson is the designer of maybe all of the patterns in here because I'm seeing her name on all of them now that I'm paying attention. And then they do a little like spotlight of projects that um, the Crochet Society members have done and posted. I like that pillow a lot. That's really cute. But. And that's it. That's a nice little, that's like a nice sturdy guidebook there. Um, okay, so yeah, I am going to figure out what I want to make with this stuff and dive into it. And I will just work at it over the next like month or so until I get my next box. And I'll let you guys know like my overall opinion on how it all works out with the finished you know objects so very excited about this this is cute um I'll put a link to their website in the description bar below if you want to check it out and I hope everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you guys later